Hey everybody, welcome back to Blile Dev. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to read data from a collection in Firestore. So you can see here I have a list of documents. Each one contains a title, a description, and a URL to a YouTube video. And so what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna utilize the Cloud Firestore library and I basically want to show a list of videos that the user can watch within the app. And so what I'm gonna show you guys today is how to set up your project to use Cloud Firestore and how to read a list using a stream builder in your app. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have the dependency in your project. So I'm gonna to go to my project, pubspec.yaml. I'm gonna put it right next to fire, uh, firebase.auth do a pub get. I'm going to go to my video screen because that's where I'm going to be using it and I'm going to import it to that screen. Okay, I'm going to fire this up because it is going to take a little while the first time you start it up when you bring in the Firestore library. Um, it's a little heavier than other libraries and so it is going to move a little bit slower when it, build, when it um, gets spun up. While that's building, however, um, this might end up breaking the build, but we're just gonna get rolling. I'm just not gonna save the file and hopefully it'll be fine. I'm gonna delete that text, and instead I'm gonna put a stream builder widget. Now the stream builder takes two things. It has a stream and it has a builder. Kinda makes sense, it's in the name, right? And so the stream, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call Firestore dot instance and then you're going to navigate your way to the collection that you want to do so you could have a collection that's like a collection users um, pass in the user id look for this collection and then read those documents you could have a long chain of things um, mine it's on the base level so as you guys saw earlier let me, go, let me see if i can go back to it i just have this base collection so i'm only going to call collection videos and then that's it like that's where I want to go so from there once you've reached your destination collection that you want to read your documents from you're then going to say dot snapshots the next step is to add in your builder so I'm going to add in a build context for my builder and then it's also going to take a snapshot so what we want to do is we want to define what kind of snapshot we're dealing with. So I'm going to say async snapshot, query snapshot, snapshot. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if not snapshot.hasData, then we want to return center um, child circular progress indicator. So what this is going to do is it basically is going to say if you, oh, I want to do a comma there. If when you hit that stream, you have no data, so you have not found any data, then return a circular progress indicator. So what this will do is while the data is still loading in, or if there's no data at all in the database, it'll place the widget that you put inside of this if statement. It'll return that onto the screen. If that doesn't get hit, then we want to return our list view. So what I'm gonna say here is return list view. Okay. And the list view has a children argument, but instead of being um, uh, just like these children widgets, we're going to say snapshot.data.documents.map to list. So what this is going to do is it's basically going to create a new um, a new element which we're going to define in here for each item that it finds in the snapshot documents okay 
And so the only thing really left to do from this point is to say, um, I'm going to say return center, so it's in the middle of the page. I'm going to say child is a container. And the container, we want to give it a width. So the media query dot of context dot size dot width divided by 1.2. And the height is going to be something similar. Um, but I'm going to say it's divided by a uh, six. So I'll break it up in a six. So, so there should be about five elements total that'll get rendered onto the screen. Okay. And the last thing we want to do is have a child. And I'll keep it really simple for now. Title plus document title. And I'm saying um, document title because that is the name of the variable that I want to reference in each one of these documents. So by saying, um, referencing document, this is the mapped document. This is the one we're currently dealing with inside of this container. Um, and we want to reference the title variable inside of that document. Okay, so I'm going to save this and let's go to our simulator. Let's log in. We have our test account. Okay, and you can see here I've got this list. So it's got a list for each item. If you count, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, so that's it. So it's really straightforward and simple. Um, and again, this is for dealing with a list of documents in a collection. Um, it's using the Stream Builder for that purpose. Uh, I'll go over in other videos once we get into more deeper functionality with setting user preferences and that kind of thing, um, some other CRUD operations with Firestore. But this is just to show you guys how you can utilize a Stream Builder for an efficient way to display lists of data in Firestore. And you can use this not even, you can use this with other databases as well. Um, just pass it a stream. It works really well with Firestore because Flutter has an easy way to communicate with Firestore through the Cloud Firestore data, um, package. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for the article screen. The only difference, however, is that there's currently no collection for articles. And so that's something that I'll have to do later on. Um, and then I can, we can replicate that um, on the article screen as well. But you know that's just a really straightforward, simple example. Um, and the other nice thing that I want to point out is inside of this return clause within this list view, you can return any combination of widgets. So I can do whatever styling and whatever thing I want with this. So what eventually I'm going to do, and I'll show this in another video, and honestly, I'm going to need to do some studying on this myself. I haven't done this yet in Flutter, but I want to be able to display a video within this page and when the user clicks on it i want it to go full screen and the user can watch that video from within the app not navigate to youtube but watch it within the app and so that's something that we're going to work on and build up to um, but this is a really simple demo on how to use stream builder if you have any questions leave a comment below if you find this video useful um, try it out implementing your project hit that like button and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time